Hey guys, it is me, April of Disney Mom of Two, and we are in a new filming location. So we are actually in my basement, and we are in my crafting corner. So I was sewing machine and a Cricut machine behind me. Um, I am planning on doing more DIYs this year. That is my goal. I do have a small business that I run mainly through Facebook, um, but I do post on Instagram as well if you don't have Facebook. Um, I will link both of those in the comment section down below. Uh, but we are testing out the lighting. We are testing out how the sound is down here. And um, we're just gonna go with it. Why we are here today. Melissa from Geeking Out with Melly Mel has tagged me in a get to know you tag questionnaire thing. We are going to be answering those questions today. I have them in my handy dandy YouTube stitch notebook. So let's get in. Okay. So question number one. What does your channel name mean? Disney Mom of Two. I love Disney. I have two kids. Disney Mom of Two. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't love my channel name, to be honest with you. I'd love to change it, something more inclusive, to bring my husband in some more videos. Um, yeah, so if you have channel name suggestions, let me know. <laughs> Question number two. Where are you from? Southern Oregon is where I'm from. Southern Oregon is where I live. I did move away for a couple years to go to college, came back to my hometown, and that's where I'm at. That's where I'm raising my two kids and half my family in Southern Oregon. So question number three, how many countries have you visited? I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not a very <laughs> explorative, adventurous person. I have a lot of anxiety. I don't like to travel because of it. <laughs> so, I've been to one country, the United States. Do I have any special talents? Do you have any special talents? I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty good at some crafts, but that's only because of this thing back here. Um, <laughs> but I don't have any like, I can't sing, can't dance. Um, I'm not, I can't paint. <laughs> What is the first thing you notice about someone when you first meet them? First thing you notice about people. Um, first thing I notice about people, I would say, are their eyes or their... First thing I notice about people, I would say, is their eyes or their teeth. Um, might be a little superficial, but I feel like you can tell a lot about a person's demeanor and like what they're feeling by the expression of their eyes. You see, your eyes can't really lie. So, if you look at people's eyes, no, so I'm lying to you. <laughs> what scares you the most about aging? I'm not really afraid of aging. I'm afraid of dying or those closest to me dying. Ugh, that got a little morbid. But I don't, I don't want to die and leave my children or my husband, and I don't want them to do the same to me. <laughs> do you use sarcasm? Yes. All the time. <laughs> Uh, 99, uh, 99% of what I say is probably sarcasm. I think I'm funny. No one else probably does. That's okay. Question number eight, scary movie or happy ending? I don't do scary. If you watched my vlogmas videos, I said that a couple times. I don't do scary at all. Get with the anxiety. <laughs> I don't do it. Happy. Uh, what can't you leave the house without? I'd say my phone and my car keys. Because I'm leaving the house, I'm probably driving somewhere, and I uh, need to be in contact with me, me, with my husband, and whoever's watching the kids, or with me. So I have my phone. And you know, we live in a modern society, and I think 99% of people would probably say their phone. <laughs> um, when was the last time you cried? Uh, yesterday. Um, I was watching a TikTok. I don't know if you guys have TikTok. You checked out that app. It's like Vine. It's pretty silly. There's, but there's some good content on there too. But this video that I was watching was this grandpa, someone's grandpa. They were receiving a quilt that had his deceased wife's clothes made out of the quilt. And I was like, oh my god, it was just so sentimental. I'm a big, I'm a big softy, guys. 
I cried over Ellen before because Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres, but she was so nice. I cried. That's me. <laughs> Are you an introvert or an extrovert? So I explain myself as an extroverted introvert. I am naturally more quiet. I'm self-doubting. Not that all introverts are self-doubting, but I doubt myself more. I'm more comfortable with just the couple people that I'm close with, but I'm okay to force myself to be extroverted. Hence why I'm on YouTube. Uh, and why I have had a lot of customer service jobs. I work so yeah, that's why I'd say I'm an extroverted introvert that kind of went on a ramble like I do. And last question, what is your favorite book? So when I was going through these questions, I had a hard time picking a favorite. I used to, used to be a super big reader. Kind of since I've had kids, I haven't had as much time to read my free time. I'm doing this, YouTube, I'm crafting. Uh, I watch kids during the day. You think Sam and mom has a lot of free time? We don't. Misconception. Uh, take care of my kids. I watch other kids. And then I run a small business through my crafts as well. So I stay pretty busy during the day. And when I have free time, I'm probably working on a craft for myself or for my kids or doing this YouTube thing. Thanks for watching. So how did I, I had a hard time picking a book. I did end up choosing uh, Tuck Everlasting, which I think is like a young reader's novel. But the story is so pure, so it's well written. I used to read it every year. Um, I haven't done that in the last couple years. But since probably I'd say sophomore year of high school, I read it every year until like my youngest was born 18 months ago. <gasps> she's older than 18 months. She's going to be two. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I chose Tucker Everlasting. If you've never read Tucker Everlasting, read it. I highly, highly, highly suggest it. It'll probably only take you a couple hours. It's not a very long book, and like I said, it's not an adult novel. Uh, read it. So, so that is all I have for you guys today. That is my tag. Thank you so much, Melissa, for tagging me. Um, I will be tagging two people. Um, I will be tagging Sarah from Chronically Disney and Mary and Tony from the Siskadeers. I said that really fast, but <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, please stay tuned. I have, like I said, some DIYs that I plan on filming and I'm super, super, super excited about. Um, I'm going to be doing some basic Cricut things, some more complicated stuff, some stuff that's not with the Cricut. Yeah. Yeah. And my regular Disney content. Most of my crafts will probably be Disney related because I plan on filling up this blank wall behind me with my crafts. <laughs> I plan on learning to make ears this year. I have bought some materials to do so. Yeah. And we still got my Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes and the hauls every once in a while and that small shop stuff. So, got lots of fun stuff planned for this year. Some cool swaps too. And now that I've rambled, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!